This is how it should be for December. I mean, yeah, you would like to have it in the 60s maybe, or maybe you like the kind of you know, weather that gets you into the, the holiday spirit. We're, we're in the 30s. You had your stuff the last weekend. Your holiday wishes are coming up, and that's the setting sun. Perhaps the sun is setting on anything warm. Uh, as we are looking here with the Kentucky One Health weather bug camera located at Bluegrass Community and Technical College right there at the UK campus. So there is your setting sun. Max Track Live Doppler, quiet. So here you go. Starting tomorrow, it's a taste of the Arctic. Saturday, a taste of some snow. Maybe just a taste. Next week, yeah, we come back for the second helping. That one could be a little more than a taste, but again, we got a lot of time to worry about this. But we talk about this time and again. Our, our guiding philosophy is that weather keeps a balance. Always does. Well, Sunday through Tuesday, we were averaging 16 degrees above normal. Today, the pendulum swings to normal on our way to our Friday through Sunday forecast, where we average 12 degrees below normal, which shapes up like this. Yesterday, low 60s for that high. Today, our normal high would be 46. We're at 45 today. So again, right in that ballpark. Then the cold starts coming in. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We see Sunday may end up being the coldest of this stretch. But the thing is, next week, the air mass looks even colder that's coming down. So just a heads up with that. We had some persistent cloud cover today across you know, southeastern Kentucky, where temperatures were held into the upper 30s, where we are right now. London 39, Monticello the same. You've got 39 out of Pikeville. Uh, but you've got 40 in Flemingsburg, 43 Springfield. Lexington, we sit at 42. Along with that, the air pretty dry. Wind chill of 38, thanks to that southwest wind at 7. So there's that cloud cover. Again, it was pretty persistent. A lot of rain going on across the deep south of the front that came through a couple of days ago. Snow in parts of New Mexico, Texas that's headed down into Mexico. For us, you see that little batch of stuff right here? It's not a whole lot, but that's going to be the Arctic front. Now, it's modified Arctic air. There's not a big snow field for this to work on, so the colder that's coming has a chance to moderate. Uh, we go from this evening to tomorrow morning. And again, a lot of that's out there falls apart. The clouds will be with us. Could there be a flurry? Maybe don't get excited about the chance. By tomorrow late in the day, the front's crossing the area. Meanwhile, the snow, look at that going on across parts of the deep, uh, deep southwest. And the Santa Ana winds continue to blow in California. For us, then, we turn our attention to the northwest. That is a clipper that's diving southward. Uh, before I get to all that, notice down there in the real deep south that the potential for a little mix is certainly in, on the cards there. But here comes our Arctic front, the second one. That's with the clipper, and that's what could bring a little snow our way. You look here, Saturday, 8.30 in the morning. We're certainly cold. It's not going to be much. We have snow shower potential coming in there for a Saturday afternoon. Sunday is a cold day. Monday we moderate briefly, but then by Tuesday the next system arrives, and with it will also come another batch of cold. Another one follows quickly on Wednesday. So it is an active weather pattern as we're looking toward the middle of the week. So for tonight, you're looking at sky becoming mostly cloudy. It's a breezy night. It's cold. We'll drop to the upper 20s. Partly to mostly cloudy, breezy, cold tomorrow. Highs in the upper 30s, but wind chills, those will be down in the 20s most of the day. Friday, looking at highs just in the mid-30s. We stay cold going into Saturday with a little light snow or snow shower potential. Sunday's cold, Monday moderates, Tuesday, Wednesday, really cold. You know, talked to my mom today, and she yeah. said, no more derby pie for you if it oh, stays no. this cold. Like for how long? Well, I mean, this is serious stuff. Till she <laughs> decides to bake another one, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, All right. Phil. Well, the deadline to help less fortunate children have a better Christmas is fast approaching. The Salvation Army's annual Angel Tree provides Christmas gifts for needy kids in our area. The Angel Tree program runs through Sunday, and there are still a lot of angels who need to be adopted.